1 Samuel chapter 4 So the word of Shemuel came to all Israel. Israel went out to fight against the Philistine, setting up camp at Evan Ezer, while the Philistines camped at Ephek. The Philistine drew up in battle formation against Israel. The battle was fierce, and Israel was beaten by the Philistine. They killed about 4,000 soldiers on the battlefield. When the army had returned to camp, the leaders of Israel asked, Why has Adonai defeated us today before the Philistine? Let's bring the ark for the covenant of Adonai from Shiloh to us, so that he will come among us and save us from our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark for the covenant of Adonai Sevaot. Lord of hosts, armies, who is present above the Kerubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Pinchas, were there with the Ark of the Covenant of God. For the Ark of the Covenant of Adonai entered the camp. All Israel gave a mighty shout that resounded through the land. On hearing the shout, the Philistine asked, What does this great shout in the Hebrews' camp mean? Then they realized that the Ark of Adonai had arrived in the camp, and the Philistine became afraid. They said, God has entered the camp. We're lost. There was no such thing yesterday or the day before. We're lost. Who will rescue us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that completely overthrew the Egyptians in the desert. Be strong and behave like men, you Philistine, so that you won't become slaves to the Hebrews as they have been to you. Behave like men and fight. The Philistine fought. Israel was defeated, and every man fled to his tent. It was a terrible slaughter. Thirty thousand of Israel's foot soldiers fell. Moreover, the Ark of God was captured, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Pinchas died. One of the soldiers, a man from Benjamin, ran and came to Shiloh the same day with his closed horn and earth on his head as a sign of mourning. As he arrived, Eli was sitting on a seat by the road, watching, because he was trembling with anxiety over the Ark of God. When the man entered the city and told the news, the whole city began crying out. On hearing the cries, Eli asked, what does this uproar mean? So the man hurried, came to Eli, and told him. Eli was ninety-eight years old, and his gaze was fixed because he was blind. The man said to Eli, I am the soldier that came. I escaped today from the battlefield. He asked, How did things go, my son? The one who had come with the news answered, Israel fled before the Philistine, and there was a terrible slaughter among the people. Your two sons, Hophni and Pinchas, also are dead and the Ark of God was captured. As soon as the, he mentioned what had happened to the Ark of God, Eli fell backward off his seat next to the gate, broke his neck, and died, for he was an old man and heavy. He had judged Israel forty years. His daughter-in-law, Pinchas' wife, was pregnant and near delivery time. When she heard the news that the Ark of God had been captured and that her father-in-law and husband were dead, she went into abnormal labor, bent over, and gave birth. As she was dying, the woman standing by her said to her, Don't be afraid, because you have given birth to a son. But she didn't answer or show any sign of recognition. She named the child Ai Kavad, without glory, saying, The glory has departed from Israel, because the ark of God had been captured, and because her father-in-law and husband. She said the glory of Israel has gone into exile, because the ark of God has been captured.